Lawmakers in Taiwan are denying suggestions the man most likely to be the next president will formally declare independence. Lai ching leads the latest polls at the early stage of the election campaign. And as Asia correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports, his past comments raised fears he could cross Beijing's ultimate red line. The party faithful were in full voice for the man in line to lead Taiwan. At his largest rally yet, Lai ching pledged to protect the territory from Chinese threats. This election is about making a decision whether to stand with democracy or default to communism. It's as simple as that. Polls suggest the Harvard-educated former doctor and current vice president will replace President Tsai Ing-wen, whose second term ends in January. Lai holds a seven-point lead over his closest rival. I think his vision is very clear and very pure. How are you doing? It will lead Taiwan to a state of prosperity, happiness and peace. Though there is concern in Taiwan and abroad about a proclamation he may make as president. Lai previously referred to himself as a worker for practical Taiwan independence. If he formally declares independence as president, there is one certain outcome. War. <laughs> the Chinese Communist Party has repeatedly called this a red line. Um, and has said they would absolutely go to war. China claims Taiwan is part of its territory and sees Lai's Democratic Progressive Party as separatists. It cut official communication when Taiwan's current president was elected in 2016. There's no indication that he is a particularly strong independent supporter be above and beyond Tsai Ing-wen. Um, and I know there are some concerns that have been expressed by U.S. officials that he may move in that direction. Party lawmakers promise Lai won't formally declare independence nor worsen relations with Beijing. Lai will choose in any time, any place to talk to Xi Jinping. The election is six months away, yet the campaign has already had its fair share of scandals. Parties have been impacted by sexual harassment allegations and the alleged drugging of children at a preschool. The international spotlight on Lai ching is sure to intensify. So what's your message to those overseas watching your campaign? What's your message to your overseas audience? Any words he does utter will be scrutinised. One sentence could easily shatter Taiwan's relative peace. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News in Taipei.